there is a little bit of a pain in my uh, in the heel, my left heel, um, and some sometimes my knee will be um, like it, it hurts. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of pain in there um, when I when I run, uh, do some exercise, cardio, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's not too bad, but mm -hmm. it's been a little my um, my heel has been it, uh, a little bit of a pain um, for a couple a couple months. Um, All right. So you mentioned cardio. That's what makes both the heel and the left knee worse. Is mm, that what you're saying? Mostly my knee, mm -hmm. um, but my heel will hurt if it's um, if I'm standing for too long or if I'm uh, walking uh, uh, or up on my feet all day. Mm -hmm. um, that'll trigger it to be more sensitive to the, the pain. I understand you're feeling some left knee pain mm -hmm. and also left heel. Mm -hmm. So just want to let you know, all these are connected by a particular nerve. Okay, so I want that's the reason why I want to take a look. When I hear about these things, I want to make sure this fellow over here is functioning at its very optimal best because we have the sciatic nerve. And the sciatic nerve goes all the way straight down. So if there is any type of structural abnormality here that results in the nerve not to function properly, it can possibly produce knee problems and the heel problem as well. So let's go ahead, let's take a closer look, see what we got going on there. The purpose of this instrument over here is to locate, is there any abnormal temperature differences here? And we spot one right here at this low back region over here. And even though the patient was not complaining about low back pain, as we mentioned earlier, we, we need to rule out right at the source and determine if there's any problems in that area. And this spot right here. Right away what we notice here is this region over here should be nice and smooth and yet there was not so speed bump over here. Do you feel that? Right? And then we have another one right over here. It should be nice, continuous and smooth and yet we find one bump here, another bump over here. So there's two regions of edema they're protecting at these particular spinal levels. So let's take a closer look, see what's going on over here. And we also see that's all pulling down below. Any pain over here? No. Nothing. Any pain over here? No. Nothing. Okay. How about this fellow over here? No. How about this fellow over here? Because this fellow over here, it's kind of stuck. And how does it feel yeah, like for you? When you stretch all the way, uh -huh. what does it feel like? Um, like uh, my spine is it, like it, it just hurts. Um, Understood. What about the one right above it? Yeah, it's tight. Understood. And this one? Yep. Okay. So right now, this fifth lumbar over here. This is most fixated. Fourth, it's moving kind of bit. Same deal as the third. Okay, it's also stuck as well. And number two, when everything else is moving much more easy and easy and easier. So let's go ahead, let's take a look on the imaging, what the x-rays say about that fifth lumbar. Taking a look over here on these x-rays over here. I want to take a look and see that this fifth lumbar over here this is a little more backwards than I like it to be. It should be in proper alignment. Just like railroad tracks, they have to line up. If it doesn't, it causes a problem. Mm -hmm. So in essence, what your fifth lumbar is doing on top of your foundation is like this. Here, it's supposed to be normal. And if it's normal, it should have a little motion like this. If it's knocked out of alignment, there's too much motion. Mm -hmm. So what this one did over here is, yeah, it's backwards. In addition to, there should be more space over here, like these fellows over here. And yet this one is shrunk down. Meaning, this is exactly what happened on your case. This is normal on this one over here with a nice normal sized disc. And yet, what I see in the x-ray, yours shrunk down a bit you lost roughly about 30% of height. 
that tells us this disc itself, the fifth lumbar disc, it is damaged. So even though it may not be symptomatic on you right now, your body's already giving you yellow flags, meaning because it's in, <clears throat> this disc got damaged, it becomes inflamed, meaning there are a couple of defense mechanisms going on over here. Your body, when it gets knocked out of alignment, as such, the surrounding tissues get damaged. And when it does so, inflammation starts to begin. So inflammation is not exactly a bad thing or a good thing. It's an alarm system. It tells the body, says, hey, fellas, it's damaged over here. Let's go ahead, let's take a look, and also let's start the healing process. So therefore, what happens is this region over here, okay, because it becomes inflamed, your body does two defense mechanisms. Number one, the surrounding tissues, they clench up mm -hmm. and get really tight. So you may have experienced from time to time some tightness over here, and you can't stretch as well as you, as you normally could. Yeah, like if I'm rolling to this side, mm -hmm. I can't really get a good like stretch. Mm -hmm. um, whereas if I roll to the other side, I can usually go a full like all the way, um, roll all the way over. Exactly. So it may be very subtle in your case. Second component as well, the surrounding tissues, they swell up. Mm -hmm. And that's what we notice in your low back over here. Okay. We had those nice little two bumps you sense in that area. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a trade-off with that swelling, okay? Because the muscles, what they do is, since again, it's unstable like this, the muscles clench up to provide more stability. The surrounding tissues, they swell up like an airbag, also additional so supporting the structures as such. Trade off with that, all that swelling pins the nerve. Now, for some people, it may produce pain. From other people, possibly in your case, decrease nerve function to this knee and to the heel. Let's just roll right over here. Roll over, roll over, Okay, coming up. I don't feel the pain as much in my heel right now. Ain't that something, huh? It's odd. <laughs> it's not odd. That, <laughs> wow. It's all connected, as we mentioned before. The nerves from the low back, they go all the way straight down to your toes. That's why it's so key and important. I understand, even though you did not come in here for low back pain, we gotta make sure Everything is cleared from the brain all the way down to your toes. And you had the problem that was blocking that vital nerve function mm -hmm. from your low back. How's the knee? Doesn't, I don't really feel it anymore. It's not like before where I could still feel it like a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now I just don't feel it. I don't feel it. Like there's no pain or anything. When you stretch your your low back, one is more tighter than the other. How do you usually stretch that? Um, I lay down and I usually just uh, try to roll over my. You want to give it a try? Sure. Something like kind of like this. Mm -hmm. And then try the other way. How's it now? It's good. So how's it? it is. Yeah, like is one side still more tight than the other, or mm -hmm. one's looser, or fill us in, or are they about the same now? I feel like they're about the same now. Interesting. It's okay if one of those is a little bit tighter than the other. What does it feel like to you? Start to show up, and the reason why is because when we corrected this and we began to unwind the rest of the spine over here, 
most of the time, the rest of the spine should follow through. Mm -hmm. This one didn't. So it just needs a little helping hand to let that fella go. Feel the same now. No tightness, no nothing else. How's the knees right now? Fine. Okay, and how's the ankles? Nothing. It's fine. Nothing, right? Yeah, just a little bit still in the in the bottom of my heel, but. Mm -hmm. Well, it's gonna need some time because it's not on and off switch. Your body needs to restore that nerve function completely all the way down to the foot. Give it some time to regenerate and heal that area because mm -hmm. it's been deprived of proper nerve function for quite some time. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, we're all set. All right, thank you.